by the dawn's early light, but so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket red flare the bumpers sting in air gave proof to the night that our flag was still there oh. Twenty-nine to forty years ago, I uh, remember the pictures of the helicopters on the top of the embassy between all the troops. Uh, so today is actually the 40th anniversary of the day of all the people, all of our veterans home from Vietnam. Hey, many of them were on the way home uh, on March 30th. Uh, they're not all home, but they're on the way home for different assignments. But it's quite a, a, a big day for us to think about that. Uh, with me in the front here is also uh, the seal for the 50th commemoration of the Vietnam War. We're celebrating the 40th anniversary of the return of the troops and the 50th anniversary of the war. Uh, this, this year we're recognizing 1963, as 15 years ago, and Vietnam. Uh, this is off script, and I never said that. I've never had this discussion with anyone in the world. But I'm going to tell you how it felt for me. Uh, I'm a combat veteran in Vietnam in, in the sense of the war that I was aboard the USS Boston Heavy Cruiser. Uh, we fired 8 inch shells endlessly. 24-7 for about a year and a half at South Vietnam, trying to drive those buggers out of there. Uh, the interesting thing for me was I always felt kind of disjointed from the war, even though it was noisy. Very few people shot back. The only time we, we were hit was by friendly fire. Uh, our enemy air missile went to Zurich and went right by a ship that Peter Mills was on, we found out recently, and, and slammed into the side of Boston that didn't explode. As a result, we had a day to talk to you. Uh, but the thing that connected me with the war, and the guys that did the real work, you know, the guys that pounded the ground, uh, was that I was sitting in Subic Bay on r, &R drinking with some guys from the Army and Marines, and we got talking about certain things that happened, and started putting timelines together, and they realized that at one point, uh, they couldn't get Navy air cover, they couldn't get Air Force cover, they needed help. They were trapped. And he called them the USS Boston. And we were you for the help. Uh, every time I saw it, I get crazy because we saved a bunch of guys that day. Made my day. It connects me with the war forever in a positive way. Most of good guys. There were some guys from Australia that had come up to help us. And we saved them. So I was just thrilled to be part of that team. I was a little proud. Uh, I'll, I'll this, on these awards, a certificate of appreciation from the citizens of Maine to, in the, the individual's name, in recognition of your honorable service during the Vietnam War in the Air Force of our country. We, the citizens of the state of Maine, express our sincere appreciation for your sacrifice, courage, and willingness to serve our great state and nation. We are proud of you and thank you on this 40th anniversary of the return of all troops from Vietnam. It's signed Paul Arlo Page, Governor James D. Campbell, the Adjutant General. It has a picture of our, our plaque that hangs in the hall flag for <coughs> Vietnam veterans. It also has the logo for the 50th commemoration of, 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 of the war. So we have two, a couple different things. Actually, Ralph L. Arsenault, Private, Marine Corps, Lewiston.
<laughs> James R. Collins, Airman, Navy, Dixfield. Dixfield. 